All right, now, just a reminder from yesterday, when you get a sheet of ISO paper, um, the first thing we always do is fill out the title block. So double check your title blocks, make sure you have this filled out. Remember, in the first line, you print your name in all caps. Then below it, with the remaining two lines, you always sign that drawing so it's yours. Our title, okay, I believe I told you yesterday, is going to be the U block. And we're going to add one to this just to save paper a little bit. Okay, so it's going to be the U block. And then we're going to put a little dash here. And it's going to be the slant block. Make sure you write that in all caps. So U block and the slant block. And yesterday's date would have been the 25th, right? Today's the 26th. So I'm going to put the 26th because that's what I'm starting mine. And then make sure you have your hour filled out, which you guys are second. Okay, now, the next step, after you have your title block filled out, your scale size. Remember, your scale size goes right above your name. The scale size is setting what your blocks are equal to compared to um, your inches, right? Okay, so right above your name, you're going to write scale size in all caps equals, remember it goes blocks to inches. We're going to do that same scale size, one, the word TO, fraction of one over two, which is half inch. Scale size is one to two. I'm oh, sorry, one to half inch. All right, now, because we're going to have two drawings on here, guys, we're going to change our starting point from centering it up. We're going to start over here, kind of on the left-hand side. We're going to use this arrow right here, because that's the middle of our paper. And what I'm going to do, guys, I'm just going to go directly to the right of the arrow and jump on an intersection of the X, Y, and Z right there. Then I'm going to go up one spot from there. That should be plenty to get us across there. Okay, so I'm just going one column over and then up one spot from that arrow right there. Remember, we use little dots for our starting points. Make sure you have your ruler. We always use a ruler when we draw an isometrics, and we always trace our, our lines that are provided. Here's the shape that we're going to be drawing. This is our U block. These are the different views. Okay, so if we had to choose that correct front view to draw on the X and the Y, would we choose this one? No. What about this one? No. What about this one? No. Why wouldn't we choose this one? Because it's upside down. So we want to make sure we draw the best 2D view and that it's shown the correct way. All right, so this is what's going on our X and our Y. We have sizes of 6 inches, 4 inches, 2, 2, 2, and 2 that we have to worry about. Remember, what do we do with our inches when we convert it to blocks? Double. We double it. All right, so we're going to start with our longest line on the x-axis, which is 6 inches right here. So from our starting point, we're going to go 6 inches, which is how many blocks? 12, 12 blocks. So I line my ruler up with the x-axis, and I go my 12 blocks. Make sure you double check your count, because if you mess the first line up, all the other lines will be messed up. Okay, from here we went six inches along the X. Now we're going to work up on the Y. Remember, we always alternate X, then Y, X, then Y. We always change. Okay, so we went across six inches. Now we're going to go up on our Y. And this, since this side is four, we have to assume automatically what? That the other side is four, which is eight blocks. Okay, so I'm going eight blocks up on the Y. Line your ruler up with that corner going up eight blocks. And 
And I always get in the habit of double checking my count. From this point, at the top of my line, so I went up four inches. Now I'm going to go back to the left on the X, two inches, which is how many blocks? Four blocks. So I jump on the X at the top of my line, and I'm going back up four. Remember, we alternate. So I went on the X, now I'm going on the Y. From my X, I'm going to go down two inches, which is four blocks. Okay, so I have my first little tower started right in here. I went over two down to, now I need to know the size of this line. Okay, well if this is two inches, and this is two inches, and my overall is six, what does this have to be if those are both two inches? It has to be two inches across there. Okay, so two inches is four blocks. We're going to go up another two inches to start our second tower. So we're going up four blocks. So now I've gone up this way and I'm going to work on the X to the left again another two inches which is four blocks. And then for my last line, I should be able to connect these two points on the y-axis. Remember, if something doesn't match up, that means you counted wrong. Okay, you should just be able to connect them right down on the y-axis right there. And if you double check your blocks, guys, it should be eight blocks. Now that we have our front view, our next step is to draw our depth or our width, however you refer to it, on the z-axis. Remember, every corner that I change direction on the x and the y needs a z, okay, except for what? Ones that are covered up. So like this corner right here, it's covered up by my tower. This corner right here is covered up by my shape. So I leave these two corners out. But everything else needs to have a Z. Your depth on this shape, guys, is an inch and a half. So an inch and a half would be how many blocks? Three, Three blocks. So I'm going to start in the lower right-hand corner, line it up with the corner and the Z, and I'm going to go three blocks. Move to my next corner. And I do all the corners except for the two that are covered up. My next step, I connect the back edge on the X and the Y. We're going to start with the Y. So remember, you go Y, and then what do you have to do? X. X. You always alternate. So Y, X. You can connect these two lines on the Y. You can 
connect these two on the X. Now, I can't alternate to the Y, can I, anymore? I don't see that one. Okay, so I just pretend like I drew that one. So I go on the Y, then I go on the X. I still see this little corner right here on the X, but once I reach this tower, I don't see it anymore. So all I do is I draw this X to the tower right there. And I go up on the Y. And finish on the X. Okay, now, there's one more rule that we didn't talk about yesterday when you're drafting. Can anybody take a guess as to what that one rule is? Just by looking at our picture? I can't hear you. Nope. That's a given. No, that, those are both rules that we put on our sheets yesterday, staying on the lines. Which one? This here? Yep, it does. No. Okay. One of our rules that we didn't put on our sheet yesterday is that if I have a surface that is partially covered up by another surface, I have to shade the surface that is co covered. So that way I kind of show a difference between them. So like this piece of our U block right in here, see how this right tower covers up that surface and I don't see it all? So I have to shade in that surface that's covered. Okay, and it doesn't have to be a work of art, guys. I just need to make sure I stay inside the lines. Okay, don't get outside of your lines. So all I'm going to do is just take and shade this surface that is covered up Just color it in. I think you guys have been coloring since you were in kindergarten, so you should maybe even preschool for some of you. Hopefully you weren't eating the crowns while you were coloring. <laughs> and then our U block is finished. Okay, for our second block, we're going to be drawing the slant block here. Okay, now the slant block creates a problem for us, and we got to break one of our rules. This slant right in here, okay, creates a huge problem where I cannot draw on the X, the Y, and the Z. Okay, that's the one time we break our rule of creating our own line. Okay, so this one we're going to draw in a little bit different pattern. We're actually, we're going to do everything the same. So we're going to start with our X, then we're going to go on our Y, but then we're going to jump over here. And we're going to go Y, then X. Then all we're going to do is connect these two points with our ruler. It will not be on an axis. Okay, when we draw this, we're going to use the same scale size for this shape. So, because this shape right here, our slant block, is going to go on the right side of our paper, we're going to put our scale size right above our date right here, so that way people know. So above the date, we're going to write scale size in all caps equals one to half inch. We're going to stick with that same scale size for a little while. Now, all I'm going to do here, guys, is I'm going to go to my, my U block, kind of this corner right here, and I'm just going to go out on the Z a little bit to about right there, okay? And I'm going to start my slant block about right in there. Okay, just make sure you have plenty of room so we don't hit that borderline on there. Again, we're starting with our X right here. So the bottom line is 6 inches, so it's 12 blocks. So I take my ruler, I line it up with the X and my starting point, and I'm going to go 12 blocks. And again, get in the habit of double